Thank you, CJ. Well, as I mentioned before, the um, selection committee had a very difficult time because we had such an outstanding slate of candidates. It was actually a two-part process. We had an advisory group that reviewed the whole um, slate of more than 100 nominations and narrowed that down for the selection committee. And in fact, we had two such outstanding candidates for the Senior Academic uh, Leadership Award that we're recognizing two people. So I'm pleased to uh, welcome Professor Rujna Baichi to the podium to introduce the, the next recipient. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Firstly, I have to say that this is really a special occasion. When I think about 50 years ago, when I started my career, I was typically the only one in the, in the group of a bunch of technology people, IT or engineers, so it's a real pleasure to be here. Um, <clears throat> the sponsors asked me to say a few things about myself. Well, I won't be too long. I mean, I am a professor of electrical engineering and computer science department, and I uh, do research in robotics, and um, I teach robotics both semesters, so, and I have a bunch of students who do the same thing. <clears throat> but I am really, uh, delighted to speak and introduce Claire Tomlin. And I am really proud to call her my colleague and friend, if I may. Claire, I am very emotional because Claire is a very special person. Um, she is not only an outstanding researcher, her, her Research is in control, stochastic or hybrid, but also in applications to real problems. She mentors a large group of students, and among them, probably half of them are women. All the first year graduate students in control, I can tell you, are flocking to her. Today we had a lunch, and I was amazed how many were there. <clears throat> um, Claire has, of course, accomplishments that received many awards, among them MacArthur and IEEE, and you name it, she got it for deserving, and not just because she is a woman, but because she really is doing some very fundamental research with pushing the boundaries of the research area of control, but also applying them and testing them and validating them in real problems. And that's where she and I really uh, resonate very much so. She also has done some very interesting applications in systems biology, applying against theoretical models of control, how cells interact and have predictive models how they interact. But <clears throat> to me, she is also a great mother. If you meet her two children, they are, everybody will comment how well behaved they are. <laughs> and they reflect her English Canadian upbringing, which is very calm <laughs> and and very controlled, I mean controlled in a good sense. <laughs> she is also a wife of our dean of engineering school, Shankar Shastri. And I can tell you that the saying is after, behind every successful man is a successful and supportive woman, and Claire is that. So I really feel that this reward is well deserved and I congratulate you. And as I said, I am really honored to be her colleague and my friend. Well, this is it.
Thank you very much, um, Rujana. It's hard to speak after you give such a, a, a wonderful introduction, and, and thank you to the um, to the committee uh, for considering me for this award, um, and congratulations also to Sujay. It's an honor to share um, such an award with with Sujay. Um, I um, I wanted to um, I, I I wanted to just say say one thing that. Um, has been very important to me over the past couple of years, and um, and it, I think when you get to be, you know, it, when you're a, an assistant professor, you're working like crazy and and trying to get tenure, and then when you're an associate professor, you're sort of doing the same thing. Um, so when um, w when I kind of got through those those um, uh, levels, I started actually really thinking, okay, um, I'm here now, and um, and it's time to focus some time on, on giving back um, to um, maybe honor people that have helped me along the way. Um, and I didn't really know how to do this. Um, and about three or four years ago, um, with the College of Engineering, um, a lot of support from the College of Engineering, we thought, how do we, um, how do we think about the, the pipeline, in particular for women in engineering? because. We, there are hardly any women in engineering when we look at the broad statistics, and, and especially in the higher leadership positions in academia and in industry. Um, and so I started working with some high schools, outreach, and even then it was hard to get girls involved. So, so three years ago, we started a program with support from um, the College of Engineering, um, from Shankar, from his office, and, um, and we started a middle school girls program um, in the summers. And, um, and that's just grown. This year we had 120 girls participate for over four weeks um, at UC Berkeley, uh, 30 girls per week um, learning different modules in engineering and, um, and also communications and leadership and just seeing some of the excitement about um, technology and engineering and maybe it's a little bit different than they had conceived, these 10, 11, and 12-year-old girls. And, um, and so I wanted to also say that uh, that has been a really rewarding experience for me and to thank a lot of people that have been involved, but um, to say um, thank you in, in the context of this award, I think it, it makes me feel like uh, this is even more important. And, and seeing the, the talks here today and, and thinking it's, it's really more important to encourage girls at a younger age to think about the excitement of, of um, taking courses in high school and, and maybe making decisions that would help them go into engineering. So thank you very much to everybody.